The Compute Module 5 from Raspberry Pi was released in December last year with this large dev I.O. board to use its various I.O. capabilities. Now for some projects you might want to use a small I.O. board and that's why today I have this small I.O. board from Seed Studio that fits in the palm of my hand. It was co-created by Seed Studio with this GitHub user and the design is open source for you to refer to it. This board has an M.2 M key slot to support 2230 and 2240 NVMe drives. It has a gigabit Ethernet port, a USB-C port that supports PD power supply, a USB-C 2.0 port for data, a full-fledged HDMI port supporting 4K at 60 frames per second, a DSi or CSI connector, SPI interface, a CPU fan connector, a power button with power and activity LED, an RTC battery connector and finally the compute module 5 connectors. Then we also have the switch to either run the OS or to allow flashing the OS on the compute module's eMMC storage. Firstly, I installed a fan on my compute module 5, then connected it to the board and finally connected the fan to the connector. I also installed an NVMe drive to test how this performs. Now to flash the OS on the eMMC storage, you need to move the switch to RPI boot and then using the RPI boot command, you can flash the OS. I have a detailed video here as well as into the description below that shows you how to flash an OS on the eMMC storage. Firstly, I saw the NVMe drive was available, so I updated the config file to use PCI Express Gen 3 speeds and I got speeds of about 864 megabytes per second that is in par with the Gen 3 speeds having single lane connectivity. I then also tested the Ethernet port and got about 940 megabytes per second. The fan would turn on only when the temperatures moved above 50 degrees, which are the default temperature settings for the fan to start. Then I checked the USB-C port and it does show my USB 3.0 device being accessed using Gen 2 speeds. Now I also wanted to see if a Compute Module 4 works on it. I connected the Compute Module and tried with a PD power supply and it didn't start up. But when I used a normal USB power supply, it started up and I was able to connect to it. I checked the NVMe drive and it was not available and even the USB-C port was not working. I could only get the Ethernet and the HDMI display output working. So you could use the Compute Module 4 on this I.O. board in a headless mode but this I.O. board is not officially supported for the Compute Module 4 and I just wanted to try it out. Now overall it is a pretty compact I.O. board with a very small factor that provides Ethernet, USB-C connectivity, HDMI output and you can connect an NVMe to it. It costs about $65 and it is right now on back order and hopefully it should be available in the EU and US warehouse to be shipped out. Now next I'll be also looking into this Radza Cube A7A and the A7Z so subscribe to the channel to see how those boards perform. Now if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button for more such videos to come. You can also support this channel via Patreon or just buy me a coffee. Till then, take care and I will see you in my next one.